Hello and welcome to the Harriet Muller Art Channel, giving you the techniques to produce amazing artwork. So we've got another one for all the horse lovers. This is going to be a horse rearing up. This is what we're going to be producing. So get yourself some plain white paper. You'll need a pencil, an eraser, a black pen, and also if you don't want to draw circles freehand, find yourself something circular to draw around. I'm using this little paint pots and I'll draw around the bottom. And don't forget to download my free PDF of how to draw horse galloping, which you'll find just here. So let's get started. Start off, draw around your circular object. Just place it roughly to the left and the centre of the page. So. Just like this. Don't press too hard. Just pressing a little bit harder so you can see it on the camera. Now move your circular object to the right and if we imagine a line, not going through halfway through the circle, but just going a little bit higher than that. Just extend that line. You can use a ruler, but it's not necessary. It's just to give us an idea where to put the other circle. So move that circle to the right slightly. And then with the bottom of the circle touching that line that we just drew, just draw all the way around, just like this. Excellent. Okay. Next shape we're going to be doing is, well, we'll do a straight line just going up here, and this is going to connect us to a triangle. So draw the triangle here. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. Mine's certainly not going to be perfect. So you just draw a triangle going up like so. Just like that. If I'm going too fast, please do stop the video and then rewind and go over the same bit many times as you need to. We'll just pause it. Now we're going to be doing the ear, so just a shape like this. Okay, so from the middle of that ear, just do a curved line coming all the way around to there. Okay, now we're going to join up these two circles, so one curved line like so, and from the bottom of this circle, I'm going to do a curved line coming around to this one. Just like that. Now we're going to put in some lines where the legs are going to go. So just here on the bottom side of this circle, I'm going to draw a line coming diagonally down. Like that. And then another one coming diagonally down like so. And then a little triangle at the bottom for the hoof. Now we're also going to do an oval shape for the knee. This will help us later on. Okay, now we're going to do another line. Just coming out here. We'll do another oval shape here for the knee. And then we're going to do a line coming down here. And then another one there. I'm going to do the same for the hind leg, but the hind leg's going to start here. Bring it down, do a little oval shape, and then bring it down like so, with a little triangle at the bottom. Just like that. Okay, now for the tail, we'll just draw a big shape like this. And they're your guidelines. Okay, now this next section, please carry on in pencil, or if you're feeling really confident, do it in pen with me. So I'm going to start off with the hind legs and we're going to make sure that this line goes through the middle of the leg. So it's showing us the direction and we come down and round and this part actually goes up a bit more and round just like that. Okay, so we carry on the leg down all the way down to the hoof, just like that. And then do the back of the hoof. And bring the leg all the way around. And then bring it up. And just before it hits the circle, we're gonna curve it round, just like this. Okay. Just going to add the hoof part there. 
Okay, so next we're going to do the front leg. So again, this one actually starts up here. So bring it round. And they're very muscly, these legs. So bring it round like this. Round the back. Do the hoof. Bring it up to the knee. And then bring it all the way up to the chest. Now we're going to do just a little bit more of the horse's chest, just here. Bring it round, just like that. Now we're going to do the other leg. Bring it round, do the knee, bring it round again. And then the hoof just goes behind this front leg here. And then we're going to do the underside. There we go. Just like so. Okay, now we're going to be doing the belly. So from this one, we're we'll following this line all the way around. All the way around to there. We're also going to do the other hind leg, just peeping out behind this one. Slightly higher. There we go. So just under there. Okay, so now I'm going to draw a line coming round. Like so. Another one there. And then the bottom lip. Just like this. Then we're going to do the mouth. And then the muzzle. Just like that. Now the nostril. So a nice big flared nostril. Because the horse is rearing up, so it must have been scared of something. And then just a line going around the nostril and then another line just there around the mouth. Okay, so we're going to add in the eye. And then the, a little bit of white just showing the reflection of the light. Then we're just going to add a line coming in here line there and then one line coming down the front and then one here okay now we're just going to perfect the ear a little bit so the ears are pointed backwards because the horse is obviously frightened so there's one ear let's do the forelock Just like this. I'm just going to draw the other ear, just peeping out behind. Now for the mane. So let's make this really. Well, first of all, we're just going to do the back of the neck, just coming down. And then now for the mane, sorry. So let's pretend it's a really, really windy, blusterous day. Let's get lots of movement. Let's make this a really dramatic mane. dramatic as you can. It's going in all directions. Make it really long. It also has a wonderful, beautiful, long mane. Just like this. Okay, so we're going to carry it on round here. Following the line for the back. Bring it round and down. And we're going to do an equally dramatic tail. 
pretend it's a really windy day. This horse is on the top of a cliff top, just reared up because it's just seen that it's come to the end of the cliff top and it needs to go back. I don't know, that's just my story. You can invent your own. Okay, so here's the horse's tail. There we go. At this cliff top. Remember to put some shadow underneath the horse. There we go. So I'm now going to erase all the pencil lines. Okay, so I've got rid of all the pencil lines. I'm just going to add a few finishing touches. So a line here just to kind of indicate where the belly is. Another one here. Um, I'm just going to extend this line a little bit. There's also a line here because it's quite a muscly horse. And then we've got a line coming here and then one from up here coming all the way down and then this one going up like so. So it just gives the horse a little bit more structure. Oh, let's, let's add one more here. There we go. So you can colour in your horse and you can make it look a lot more realistic and um, you can carry on adding um, muscle lines if you like just to really show the kind of the texture of the horse just adding a few more there okay i'm gonna leave it now <laughs> so i hope you've enjoyed it if you have please hit subscribe and like and if you've got any suggestions please leave them in the comment section below hope you've enjoyed it and hope to see you next time thank you Bye bye